Hello students, I welcome you in today's session of physics and in physics as you can see here I am going to discuss your chapter number 19 which is your optical instrument, clear? So for, before going to start this chapter, uh, just have a look what we have to study about this chapter. In syllabus, you can see here we have to study about the optical instrument, microscope and astronomical telescope, reflecting and refracting surfaces and their magnifying power clear so these are the things we have to cover out in this chapter so first we will discuss about the power of accommodation of the eye you can see here this is the first one we have to discuss so you can uh, as you can see here our eyes is a natural lens fixed in its place through muscles so the lens has in its focal length and it's because of this that we can see clearly nearby as well as distant object fine so, when we see a distance object, the parallel rays of light falling on our eyes are focused by the lens on the retina. Therefore, the object is seen distinctly. A normal eye can see distinctly an object at infinity, which is called the far point or two of the normal eye. Clear? In this case, the eye is relaxed state, there is no tension in the muscle and the focal length of the lens is maximum. Now, when, uh, when however, we see nearby object, the muscle contract to increase the curvature of the lens as the focal length of the lens decreases and again a clear image of the object is formed at the retina. So, this power of changing the focal length of the eye is called the power of accommodation. This is the definition of power of accommodation. Now, I hope you understand it clear. Now, as we see more and more nearby objects, more and more power of accommodation is to be applied. But there is a limit of applying the power of accommodation that is the nearest distance d up to which I can see clearly by applying the maximum power of accommodation is called the least distance or distance vision. For the normal eye, the least distance of uh, the distance is how much 25 centimeter and the point at a distance capital D from the eye is called the near point fine of the eye while the ob if an object is placed at a distance of less than 25 centimeter of the eye it will be not seen distinctly clear I hope you understand it now come to the visual angle and the magnifying power of an optical instrument clear so here you can see this is the second one so let's discuss what is the visual angle so, the angle which an object sustained at our eye is, is called the visual angle, clear? So, this is the just you have to read the definition what is the visual angle and the, this is the figure you can see here figure number 1 for the visual angle and now I am moving to the magnifying power is the important one. So, uh, I am not going to the very deep just to study the definitions because this is uh, ask only the definition in the examination. So, the magnifying power of an optical instrument is defined as the ratio of the visual angle substituted by the image formed by an instrument at the eye to the visual angle substituted by the object at the unaided eye. This is the magnifying power of the eye. Clear? I hope you understand it. Now, come to the simple microscope. What is the simple microscope? A microscope is an optical instrument which forms large image of a close minute object clear so this image substance a large visual angle at the eye so that the objects look large it is the simplest form of a simple microscope or magnifying glass is just a thin short focus convex length carrying a handle the object to be seen is placed between the lens and its focus and the eye is just for behind the lens clear so then you can see here the eye see magnifying erect and virtual image of the same size uh, same side as the object the position of the object between the lens and its focus is so adjusted that the image is formed at the least distance of distance vision that is d which we had uh, already talked about in the previous topic of the eye so the image is then seen most distinctly you can see here from the figure he had given figure a and the figure b you can see uh, these are the two figures clearly so, from these figures, you can easily understood what is going on here. AB is a small object which is placed between the lens L and its first focus F dash. Fine. So, its magnifying virtual image A dash B 
P dash is formed at a distance d of the lens since the eye is just behind the lens so the distance of the image A dash B dash from the eye is also d. Clear? Now you can see the magnifying power uh, from there. Let beta be the angle sustained by the image A dash B dash at the eye and the alpha be the sustained by the object AB of the eye when placed directly at a distance d from the eye. Then the magnifying powers of the simple microscope is given by this formula that is angle subtended by the image at the eye divided by the angle subtended by the object at the eye when placed at the least distance of distance vision so you, that is beta by alpha fine so if you put the value of beta uh, that is 10 beta from the above triangles of uh, here and alpha 10 alpha equals to this so your magnifying powers comes out to be d by oa fine and what is oa that is equals to u so magnifying power is equals to m equals to d by u clear the image a dash b dash being formed at a distance d from the lens hence in this formula we can write here 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f or we shall put here the v equals to minus d and u equals to minus u with proper sign so in place of in this equation you put these values and finally you will get here d by u equals to 1 plus d by f or you can write here magnifying power is equals to 1 plus d by f this is the magnifying power. So, we shall substitute only the numerical value of D and F that M is positive which means that the direct image is formed and it is also clear that shorter the focal length of the lens the larger is the magnifying power clear. So, if the eye is kept at a distance and is small d and the lens so you can write here in place of V is equals to minus D minus D and the magnifying power will be M is equals to 1 plus D minus D by F thus the magnifying power is reduced clear so hence to obtain the magnifying power the eye must be very close to the lens to see the relaxed eye the image a dash b dash should be formed at infinity in this case the object a b be at the focus so the first equation comes out to be m is equals to d by f clear so the magnifying glass is used to watchmakers and jewelers here we use the micro uh, magnifying glass i hope you understand it now we will discuss about you can see here this is the compound microscope what is the compound microscope just read the definition only this instrument produces magnification in two stages it consists of two convergent lenses clear system o and d you can see from this uh, about the cons compound microscope from this figure clear which is uh, placed coaxially in a double tube system the lens o is fitted in the outer fixed tube and is called the objective and this lens the object is called objective lens it is an achromatic convergent lens system of short focal length and the short aperture the other lens e is also a convergent lens system and it is of comparatively larger focal length and aperture it is fitted in the inner standing tube that is is called as the eyepiece lens system because an observer takes observation by placing the eye close to it the separation between the objective lens which is your O dash and the eyepiece lens that is E dash can be changed by an arrangement known as the rack and pinion arrangement. Fine. So a ring containing a pair of the fine fibers at right angle to each other is placed at the position of the image form at the objective or the focus of the eyepiece known as the cross wire. So here you can see this is the adjustment given here for the compound microscope. Clear? <coughs> So from this figure you can easily understood what is the compound microscope uh, working of the compro, compro, compound microscopes and how the image formation with the help of compound microscope. So I am not going to the very deep you just read by yourself and still if you have any doubt ask me then comment section. Now this is the uh, mathematical relation the magnifying power I already told you which is the cutoff length that is a dash b dash a b from the figure you can see dash a double dash b double dash in the angle a double dash e b dash the final image a double dash b double dash substance and angle beta at the eyepiece e since i is very close to the eyepiece the angle beta being taken as if it is substituted by a double dash b double dash of the eye so the magnifying powers comes out to be beta by alpha then in place of beta you can write 10 beta and in place of alpha you can write 10 alpha fine 
So finally the relations you can see in place of 10 beta and 10 alpha we can write here a double dash b double dash upon a double dash b double dash and the, but you can see from this construction that is a double dash b double dash by a b and multiply by divided by a dash b dash uh, here you can see that so finally uh, you can write it a double dash b double dash equals to m the linear magnification produced by the eyepiece lens and a dash b dash is equals to m that is the linear magnification produced by the objective lens so you can write m is equals to me multiplied by mo fine that is the linear magnification by the objective lens which is your mo is equals to v by u and but for the objective lens which is v is equals to v naught and u equals to minus u naught you can write here m equals to v minus v naught by u naught clear so alternatively the linear magnification produced by the objective lens that is mo dash can be calculated using the lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f. So for a real image formed by the objective lens, v is equals to v naught, u equals to minus u naught, and f equals to f naught. Therefore, from the lens formula, we can write here 1 by v naught equals to minus 1 by u naught equals to 1 by f naught, or you can write it 1 by v naught plus 1 by u naught equals to 1 by f naught. Fine. So after solving all these terms, you can find here the magnifying power equals to f naught by u naught minus f naught. And the linear magnification which is produced by the eyepiece lens is equal to v by u but if the final image is formed at the least distance of distance vision that is capital d then for the eyepiece lens v is equal to minus d and u equals to minus ue so in place of u we can write here m equals to d by ue and from the first equation first and second you can see from the web equation this is the first one and this is your second one so from these two equation we can write it like this magnifying power is equals to uh, here v by u naught d by u e and from the equation first third and fourth i can write it like this f naught but uh, divided by u naught minus f naught clear now there are the adjustment given for the compound microscope so i'm skipping this how can you adjust and the finally just see the magnifying power which is minus v naught by u naught one plus d by f e and from the equation that is 6th and 7th you can write it like this clear now see the adjustment for the relax eye so this is the configuration for the relax eye so in this configuration final image of the object is formed in relaxed eye position that is at infinity clear in this setup the eyepiece lens system is moved back a dash b dash force the second focus fe of the eyepiece lens system there's a magnifying power equals to minus v naught by u naught by d by fe so for this setup the length of the microscope tube you comes out to be l equals to v naught plus fe now here are the conditions given for the large magnifying power as inspection from this figure reveals the fact that uh, to get a significant magnifying power by compound microscope fe should be small and f naught should be large so further the difference of the term u naught f and f naught that is u minus f naught should be very small but u naught should always be greater than f naught to get a real image of the object by the objective lens fine now this is the figure for the astronomical telescope so we will discuss now what is the astronomical telescope so you can see here and this thing we already discussed come to the astronomical telescope so an astronomical telescope is an optical instrument which is used to see heavenly objects like stars planets etc the image of such distance object formed by the telescope subtend a large visual angle by the eye so that the object appears quite large to the eye now this is the construction given how you can construct the astronomical telescope so it consists of a long cylindrical metallic tube carrying at one in an achromatic convex lens of large focal length and the large aperture which is called the objective lens at the other end of the tube is fitted with a small tube which can be moved in and out in the biggest tube by the rack and the pinion arrangement so at the other end of the smaller tube is fitted with an achromatic convex lens of small focal length and a small aperture which is of called the eyepiece so cross wires are mounted in the smaller tube at the focus of the eyepiece now this is the adjustment given here and how the formation of the image can takes place you can easily understood by this figure this is the figure of compound uh, astronomical telescope clear so i'm not going into the deep section adjustment and formation you can read it by yourself and if you still feel any doubt ask me in the comment section i am going to talk about the magnifying power so this is the magnifying power of the 
eyepiece lens clear so this is the magnifying power the magnifying power is the angular magnification of a telescope is defined by the angle subtended by the final image at the eye upon the angle subtended by the object at the eye when the object is at the actual position clear now since the eye is near the eyepiece the angle beta subtended by the final a double dash b double dash image at the eyepiece may be taken as the angle subtended at the eye so in the same way since the object ab is very far from the telescope so the teles in the angle subtended by the object at the objective may be taken as the angle subtended at the eye then we can write here m is equals to beta by alpha now since beta and alpha are very small so we may write it using the equation fifth beta is equals to 10 beta a dash b dash upon e a or I can, we can write it alpha equals to 10 alpha a dash b dash upon o a dash or you can also write m is equals to o a dash by e a dash clear so if the focal length of the objective o and b f o, f o and the distance a dash from the eyepiece be e and u and e so the proper sign we using we can write it o dash o a dash equals to f o and e a is equals to minus u e so for the above equation we can write m equals to minus f o by u e so this is the general formula for the magnifying powers now there are the two possibilities given here the final image is formed at the least distance of distance vision so if the distance of the final image a double dash b double dash from the eyepiece b d then applying the lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 of phi f for the eyepiece we shall have v is equals to minus d and u equals to minus u e and f equals to f e so f is the focal length of the eyepiece lens so you can read the mirror formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f and we can put here 1 by u equals to 1 by f e plus 1 by d or 1 by f equals to 1 plus f e by d so substituting the values of uh, 1 by u e in equation first we have m is equals to minus f o by f e 1 plus f e by d so we shall substitute only the numerical value of f o f e and d in this formula in this position the length of the telescope will be f o plus u e now what is the second condition the final image is formed in infinity then in that case to see the relaxed eye the final image should be formed at the infinity you can see the figure number six here this one so for this the distance between the objective and the eyepiece adjusts so that the image a dash b dash formed by the objective o is the focus f e dash and the eyepiece u equals to f e so the adjustment of the telescope is called the normal adjustment now substituting the value u equals to f e in equation first we can get m is equals to minus f o by f e now in this position the lengths of the telescope will be f o and f e so it is clear from this equation second and third that is in order to increase the magnifying power of the telescope the focal length fo of the objective lens should be large and the focal length fe of the eyepiece should be small this is the necessary condition here the negative sign indicates that the final image is inverted or further a comparison of second and third shows that the magnifying power of the telescope is greater when the final image is formed at the least distance of distance vision then the final image is formed at infinity clear i hope you understand it what i taught you so that's all for the today's lecture student we will meet uh, the reflecting telescope in our next lecture till that do study thank you class